how do you begin to believe something that you don't believe when the proof is there Abraham it's true this is the reality this is what we've got this is how it's going my eyes are not deceiving me my ears are not deceiving me this is the truth of my reality how do I create other than that and we say you're really upon something important if you're asking that question because most people offer almost all of their vibration in response to what they are observing Esther would say to us in the beginning but Abraham it's true it's true shouldn't I give my attention to what's true isn't that what I've been taught all of my life and we say we understand what you're going for here Esther but here's the thing a thing is only true because someone is focused upon it until it became a reality we would use a different criteria not is it true but does it feel good to me when I think about it is it something that I desire and if it is something that you desire then give it more and more and more of your attention but if it is not something that you desire giving it more attention only makes it more solid in your experience you see how it works how do thoughts turn to things anyway have you ever wondered about that do you see any pipelines trucking in new fuel from other planets new minds are being dropped from the sky how is it how is it that thoughts are turning to things thoughts are turning to things through focus through focus and reception and response to that reception that's how thoughts turn to things that's how your economy evolves that's how everything evolves that's how the cells of your body evolve every part of evolution which is what your eternalness is all about is about thoughts turning to things and so that's what we want to talk to you about we want you to begin addressing yourself more vibrationally rather than physically because the physical parts of you the physical things that you are giving your attention to those are already manifested that's already done that's like gum that you've chewed the flavor out of that really is not where you want to put your attention you want to put your attention upon where you are going so when life shows you that you want something you want to be more forward-looking toward the evolving and the unfolding of what you're asking for rather than standing where you are sometimes in the absence of what you want justifying or defending why you should get more of what you want because you don't have it every subject is two subjects it's like a stick that has two ends of it and on one end is the absence of what you want and on the other end is the presence of what you want so the question that we're asking you is when you ask for more money where's your gut where's your emotion are you standing in a feeling of desperation are you standing in a feeling of disappointment or are you standing in an attitude of appreciation and anticipation where's your vibration relative to the things that you're asking for are you more of a vibrational match to what you want or are you more of a vibrational match to its absence are you a more of a vibrational match to the problem or the solution to the question or the answer well we can tell you the answer you can tell by how things are unfolding however it's turned out so far that's what you're a vibrational match to it's always that way you can tell what you're offering vibrationally by what you're living by what you're surrounded by so here's what we want you to hear that may be new for you and it really is the answer to getting past beliefs that don't serve you a belief is only a thought you continue to think that's all a belief is just a thought that you continue to think now we want to help you let yourself off the hook a little bit you continue to think those thoughts because law of attraction really helps you to continue to think those thoughts you can't think far past the thoughts that you're already thinking so there's no hope for you <laughs> we've enjoyed this interaction immensely good luck with all of that think of us we're living happily ever after but there is a way that you can not so much bridge your belief immediately you might be able to bridge a belief if you could surround yourself with other people who believe in the advantage that you have not yet given to yourself so you may be able to bridge your beliefs if you had someone around you who knows answers to what you're looking for and you don't know the answer but they do and they talk to you every day and you get to watch them in their life and eventually you could come to believe because they believe it and they're living it you could change your beliefs a little bit that's how most humans are bridging their beliefs or changing their beliefs but there's a much easier way so 
we have some questions for you um, before we give you this important thing <laughs> the answer to all your hopes and dreams <laughs> do you accept that you are more than this physical personality that you know as you yes. so if this inner being exists and we promise you your inner being does exist and since your inner being does exist and your inner being is standing in complete knowing of what you're asking for in other words knowing seeing the vibrational version of it and knowing that this vibrational version just like a seed in the ground can grow to the full manifestation that you're looking at the seed to the abundance you're looking for the seed to the physical wellness the seed to the relationships that you want the seeds to all things that you have been asking for since your inner being is there with those seeds do you believe that your inner being is there with the beginning of what you're asking for yeah. and do you understand that now you've got to do something about letting this vibrational version be realized by you your inner being doesn't have the right or the wherewithal to assert anything into your experience you got to sync up with it so you have to become a believer of the vibrational reality before the vibrational reality can come into your experience we wrote a whole book about it a couple of books about the vortex and about how everything you want is there and so many of you followed us to a certain point but it became annoying to you all right Abraham I get it everything I want is in the vortex and you want me over there at the doorway of my vortex <laughs> so that I can get what's in there but just tell me one thing Abraham how do I get the money out of the vortex and into the bank <laughs> enough of this vibrational version already I'm sort of sick of hearing about the vibrational version I live in the real world I want it to come out into the real world where it can be part of my manifestation and we say it is already a manifestation but feel the difference between a manifestation and manifestation is whatever you're living and feeling in any moment and every moment is a manifestation but feel the difference between manifestation and your realization of it Esther's pen was in her purse it was there but her realization of it wasn't so it might as well have not been there because she didn't have hold of it you see what we're getting at and so so much of what you want is just like that pin in Esther's purse you're walking around with it all day every day it's just a reaching in and pulling out that's all that's required but because you believe it isn't there you don't do that so do you believe that there is a vibrational version of what you want that has progressed in varying degrees some of it ripe and ready for you to experience so if the answer to that is yes then you really are ready for what we are encouraging in a very powerful way these days you're ready to deliberately put yourself into the receiving mode where you can receive the impulses about it and this is different than bridging beliefs because bridging beliefs takes time bridging beliefs means you have to take hold of a belief that you've got that is in defiance of something that you want and make it no longer in defiance of something that you want have you ever talked to anyone you believe one thing and they believe another thing and you're talking to each other and you both wish to convince the other and after an hour or two or three or four or five or six or ten or twenty or years of interacting with them about that they just stand strong in what they believe and you just stand strong in what you believe and no headway is made in convincing the other you know about that yeah. you've got that exact thing going on inside of you where I want this but I want this but 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 you've got beliefs that keep your desires from being realized by you and it's unnecessary so what do you do about it do you want to argue with yourself for hours or weeks or months or years or would you like a suggestion for a much simpler route yes. we thought you'd say that <laughs> when you quiet your mind you stop all thought and when you stop all thought all beliefs Ooh, you're really gonna like this so we're gonna start in a different place because we really want you to hear this imagine a cork floating on the water and let's just say that this up here on this surface is alignment with your source pure positive energy now you can hold that cork under the water and let's call that negative emotion let's call that beliefs that don't serve you but when you let go of it it's gonna bob right back up there to the surface so when you meditate and you quiet your mind you bob back up to the surface and when you 
bob back up to the surface when your vibration rises because you're not holding it down with things that your inner being knows are not true when hatred and fear are disengaged and in their absence you just move right back up into the natural love and pure positive energy that is you that's what we call the receiving mode which means now you are at the doorway of your vortex now in that absence of contradictory beliefs the beliefs of your inner being are dominant in fact they are only they are only when you meditate and quiet your mind and allow your vibration to rise now you are only the frequency of your inner being now think about what we've been talking about already here today so here's your inner being and this vibration and here's you and this vibration and everything you feel is about the mix of that if you are in tune with your inner being you feel wonderful if you're not you feel less wonderful to varying degrees all the way over to awful but when you meditate and quiet that part of your vibration and your vibration rises now you are at the doorway of your vortex now you are in the receiving mode now what your inner being knows about everything and what your inner being knows mostly is about is you now it is your knowledge too and so now ideas begin to flow to you through your path of least resistance so when you are in meditation and a thought comes to you that thought is a thought worth listening to